A Chinese biotech company has presented the world's first 3D bioprinter that will be creating blood vessels, these down the road to create personalized human organs, Margaret. This is a crazy breakthrough in terms of 3D technology. Uh, the company is Ribotech, they're based in Chengdu in China, and they said that this breakthrough was uh, only possible because of the self-developed stem cell bioink technology, their cloud computing system, and their 3D printing technology. They presented this new machine, and what they achieve is to create this way of printing because they use very soft tissue, so it collapses on, upon itself. So they created this gel that contains the soft tissue and holds it in its place, and you were, they were able to create these blood vessels that eventually will feed an organ, and this will change the life for those who are waiting for a transplant in case we get to the place where we have these organs harvest, and then we connect them with this 3D printing technology. It's it's, cra it's crazy incredible. It's, it's really amazing. This could potentially have a lot of impact on a lot of people waiting on organ and tissue donation lists who are dying on these lists because there isn't an organ available. This could really revolutionize that process for them. I think you and I covered on the lip not too long ago uh, the brain that was being grown in a 3D way and they were able to do the nerve cells being mm -hmm. able to send the, send the, the, uh, the sensor, the exactly the impulse, which could revolutionize the way people are treated with spinal cord injuries. Mm -hmm. This is one more step in this. Can you imagine you know, having an organ built by a 3D printer and actually having the application of that organ. We're right there, we're on the cusp of this. You said 10 years? The, that's what they're looking at. The, the process of developing this technology is a very slow one uh, because there's a lot of uh, legal hurdles and there's a lot of, of processes that need to be fulfilled. But they're not the only research being done in that direction. Also, uh, we have another one coming from the Biomedical Engineering College at Carnegie Mellon University. And what they were able to do is to recreate a heart. Based off 3D scans, they reverse engineer the scans to create 3D printing structures of a heart. And this will completely change heart surgery because for many that are waiting for a heart replacement, this technique down the road could prevent you from needing a whole transplant and they will recreate the parts of your heart that died in the in the heart attack and then they will recreate them with 3D technology. We're talking about 2,000 heart transplants every year in the United States and 4,000 people waiting for a heart or an organ to get a transplant. This technology very close in the future, maybe will change the life of all these people. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, I love these technological advancements, specifically when they have a medical ap application. But we want to know your thoughts. Share them below in the comment section. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the Lib TV.